Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and for the comedy genre in the genre files, I have chosen Airplane from 1980. Airplane was directed, written and directed by Jim Abrams, David Zucker, uh, and Jerry Zucker. Uh, Airplane is what started, well, it led to Naked Gun and Top Secret and Frankly, if you like those scary movie movies, you know that the Wayne Brothers did, and all those, and the uh, not a teen, not a teen movie, and just all that type of all that comes from this. <laughs> okay, this was the first one and the best one, in my opinion. Uh, Airplane starred. Let me take a deep breath here because there's a lot of people. Robert Hayes. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Lane, I always get so carried away. I lose all track of time. Julie Haggerty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your stewardess speaking. We regret any inconvenience the sudden cabin movement might have caused. This is due to periodic air pockets we encountered. There's no reason to become alarmed, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? <laughs> Robert Stack. Get that finger out of your ear. You don't know where that finger's been. Lloyd Bridges. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Peter Graves. Joey, you like movies about gladiators? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Listen, kid. Tell your old man to drag Walton in the near up and down the court for 48 minutes. Lorna Patterson. There is only one river. There is only one sea, and it flows through you, and it flows through me. And of course, uh, the great Leslie Nielsen in a career turn-in role. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. You'd better tell the captain we've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Uh, and of course, not to be forgotten, uh, Steven Stucker as Johnny. <laughs> Bad news. Fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting larger. And uh, an auto, the autopilot. Uh, Airplane has uh, some very funny cameos by uh, Barbara Billingsley, uh, June Cleaver from uh, from Leave It to Beaver. Just hang loose, blood. She's gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. And the great Ethel Merman as playing the role of a soldier uh, who is shell shocked and thinks that he's Ethel Merman. <laughs> You'll be swell. You'll be great. Gonna have the whole world on. Plate. Start here, start now, honey. Everything's coming up. Right. Oh, sorry, I, I can't help but laugh because this almost made me laugh, and I just watched it for this, uh, so it's just it's too funny. Uh, anyway, uh, so Airplane is a parody of of like uh, disaster movies, uh, especially of course the uh, airplane kind of disaster genre, like the airport and all that. And apparently, Z uh, actually specifically about a, a, a movie called Zero Hour, which Airplane took its pretty much its plot uh, verbatim from. Even the lead character in that movie, in that original movie, is named Ted Stryker. So it's pretty much like that movie exactly, uh, except not because this is just insane. Uh, this was this had a budget of three point five million dollars, and it made uh, one hundred and thirty million dollars. <laughs> yeah, I know, a lot. Uh, in uh, in nineteen eighty, I remember my cousin and I sat in the Chinese theater, and uh, from the moment that this movie began, when you see the clouds and you hear the Jaws theme, and suddenly the tail kind of cuts through the clouds like like a shark fin. Uh, we just could not stop laughing. We just started and we just kept laughing nonstop for like an hour and a half. This movie's just, there's so many jokes 
So many gags, sight gags, verbal jokes, just everything left and right. It was just insane. We had never seen anything like this. It was it was definitely one of those movies that you saw again. I mean, back in those days, I was a kid. I was like, you know, 14, 15. And uh, so we'd go see movies a lot, but but this one was definitely one you repeated a lot because there was so much to see in it. Uh, it's just over and over again, and it was it was just so hilarious and, and, and insane. Uh, I you know as I got older, I got some of the other jokes, and I remember as a kid not not getting all of the jokes, but then I, yeah, you get older and you start to pick up on more things, and it just continues to be just hilarious. One of their their ways of you know approaching the humor is that they got a lot of these actors like Robert Stack and and you know Lloyd Bridges, Peter Graves, actors that were had done serious roles up to then and just you know put them in these insane comedic situations and just had them do it just straight, just deadpan at all and uh, straight ahead and and in this insane environment and this of course was. Especially true for Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen, up to this point, had been a, more of a dramatic actor. You remember him from uh, Forbidden Planet and, and other movies. And uh, but he'd always been kind of like a lean man. And uh, now, for me, this was the first time that I ever saw Leslie Nielsen. I didn't know him. I didn't know who he was at that time. So for me, he was first a comedic actor. That's why when I first started to see him in the older dramatic roles, I was surprised. Uh, but for me, he was always. Uh, uh, the Doctor in, from Airplane, and then later Frank Drebin, and it's just, he'd always been the comic actor for me, but it, this was a, a career turner for him, because after this, he just had this whole completely new career, and he was, you know, went on to Naked Gun TV show, and then those movies, and, and Dracula Dead and Loving It, and just, you know, uh, some good movies, some bad movies, but pretty much, you know, I mean, this actually ended up playing Mr. Magoo, for God's sakes, I mean, so, uh, and he's hilarious, he's just great. So uh, it was just fantastic uh, for everyone involved, especially the audience, of course. Not that much more I can really say about Air Airplane. I mean, I can give you a bunch of statistics and stuff, but that's boring, and it certainly doesn't go with the, the type of movie it is. It did have a sequel that uh, the Zuckers and Abrams weren't involved with. That it, wasn't, it was called Airplane the Sequel, <laughs> of course. Uh, but uh, And it wasn't as good as the first one, but it's still worth seeing and worth getting, I think. Uh, it's got William Shatner in it, and... Uh, it's a lot of the repetition of the same same stuff from the first movie, but uh, it's got a couple of little fun things here and there. So, uh, but like I said, there's not that much more I can say. But there's so so many I could I could just go on quoting all the funny things like you know don't call me Shirley and all that stuff. But it's just better if you watch it. If you haven't seen Airplane for some reason, uh, this is one to see. This is one to search out and definitely see, and you definitely want to watch it. Uh, and just enjoy it. It's just but just. You know, don't just prepare for no, like, nothing to make any sense <laughs> and plot. Yeah. Well, actually, there is kind of a plot, yeah. Uh, but there's just, it's just insane. So I uh, definitely recommend Airplane, and that's my uh, my pick for the comedy genre. Uh, I hear that uh, we're doing westerns next, so I have to pick something for that. So uh, I'll probably be late as always, but oh well. Here we go. Uh, that's uh, Airplane for the comic comedy genre for me. And definitely check it out. Alright, bye.